I'm Cal with Tech Notes Backstage Access, and today we're with Seth Talley. He's with Alsons and Daughters as their front of house and tour manager. How's it going, Seth? It's going great. It's Good, going man. Great. Thanks so much for taking some time out. I know show days can be kind of hectic. Yeah. Um, you know what? We just want to, you know, find out a little bit more about you. How did you get started doing uh, audio as a touring audio guy? As, as far as front of house audio, uh, I grew up playing in bands, and, and as, as most people do, you get thrown into situations to yeah. where you're setting up all your own, your own uh, audio gear and then playing on stage, and For so sure. just, just a lot of that. But I uh, went to school uh, at Middle Tennessee State University for audio, uh, for recording, recording side of things. Yeah. And um, yeah, the day I graduated, uh, David Leonard with All Sons and Daughters here, he was in another band, and. Uh, called me up and said, hey, we're going on tour with this, uh, this other band, and would you want to come out and run front of house for us? And so I had no clue, hadn't, hadn't run front of house for anybody ever, and I just jumped in and, awesome. and did it. And that, Baptism by fire. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I've been doing it since then. So. Awesome. So with All Sons and Daughters, I mean, their, their vibe is a little bit different than, say, a touring rock band, you know, hard-hitting kind of rock band. What's... Um, What's your approach when mixing them? What, what, you know, what do you find are the forefront things and what do you find you pull back on a little bit yeah. and all that kind of stuff? Um, the, the band is a, is a worship band. Uh, they started it in Journey, uh, Journey Church in Franklin, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And so as far as the approach from, from mixing them, um, I, I, try to find a f I try to find the line between worship band and touring band. Um, it's a fine line. Uh, for sure, uh, because people are buying tickets and coming to right. the event, so you want to you want to bring the experience up a little bit. But at the same time, it's all about the room mm -hmm. and what's going on in the room. Um, luckily, f uh, I'm lucky enough to have a great a great band. Mm -hmm. uh, they play to the room, so uh, that helps out a lot. But as far as their set, they ease into the set a right. lot because okay. they try to take um, take it take it on a uh, on a journey gotcha. and so so they don't just come out yeah, hard -handed. yeah yeah they it's not and yeah, ease into they ease into bit. the set so luckily for me that gives me a second to make adjustments uh, and and ease into it absolutely so. well I mean we all know how the room can change when from empty during sound check to when it's full of people no right? doubt yeah. so that's that's an awesome approach yeah it's uh, a lot of the time you get bands that come out and just want a, a big reveal yep. off the top yep. bang here we are but uh, it's an interesting approach, so the band really helps you out. In yeah, that, right? yeah. I don't know if they realize that they help me <laughs> out, but my main goal, as in their approach to lighting, their set, stage presence, and mm -hmm. everything is all about limiting distractions. And yeah. so I, I strongly believe that in the mixing side of things as well. With any other band, I don't, um, I don't want to come out and have them say, man, that audio engineer mixed. It was great, and it'd be, you know, it's loud. It, I would rather just be. They forget that somebody's mixing, and that Absolutely. it's just they're in it, mm -hmm. you know. So notice that you're out with uh, a Behringer X32. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of us have seen those. What was your main drive to use that console on this uh, particular tour? We we uh, we started out touring with that console. Uh, one because it, it was super lightweight, mm -hmm. and we did uh, a Canadian tour. Uh, about two years ago, and I think it's 45 pounds, and I found a case that was about the same, so I could fly with it awesome. via United States standards. What I didn't know is when I got to Canada, um, Canada Air was 75 pounds, and so we had to air freight it everywhere. Uh -huh. But uh, the main thing was weight. Uh, it was digital, easy to set up. And uh, the band really, really loves the monitoring side of things. Right. We had, we had used it once or twice on a fly date uh, before we had a console. And uh, to set up uh, and use the router and uh, the app mm -hmm. for the, the console, the app is really user friendly. It's laid out really easy. Um, we didn't have a lot of connectivity problems with mm -hmm. it. and. Uh, yeah, Sweet. they just really like it. 
Yeah, so they're, they're kind of in control of things and they mm -hmm. can run the monitors as they need to, which, which my, always helps out, right? <clears throat> my world completely changed yeah. uh, when, that's, when we started using that because then I could focus on actually getting a front of house mix during <laughs> sound check Absolutely. and not just an, uh, an hour and a half uh, ear mix. Yeah, absolutely. So. Don't want to take up too much of your time. I know it's a busy schedule, and I want you to have time to relax before uh, before the evening starts. But some, you know, some closing tips for some of the other engineer, engineers out there who are, you know, maybe watching and looking for some tips on on how to make their mixes a little bit better or smoother or anything like that. Just cleaning up mixes, making sure that they have uh, the right space in the mix. Um, you know, if somebody's doing a cool part. Uh, in this song, just it doesn't necessarily have to be a feature. Just as far as uh, the mix goes, just placing it right, mm -hmm. um, mixing to the people. Uh, I always make sure that I, I get a sense of the room and watch the people. And uh, because a, a 105 dB maybe may seem super super loud in some rooms, and it may be quiet in other rooms. Absolutely. So it's just it's all about mixing to the people in the room and the experience, and and not. Uh, it's not about you as an audio engineer. It's it's about the entire experience and just not being um, a distraction in that sense. Awesome. Thanks so much, Seth. Like I said, I know it's a busy schedule and you know it's probably be rather relaxing and munching on some food. But we appreciate you taking some time out and talking with us. Again, I'm Cal with Tech Notes TV Backstage Access and Seth Talley of All Sons and Daughters.